Get it, D. Season four has arrived, y'all. But before we hop into season four, the off season, I'm gonna show you, you know, the bowl games, the results. We just came off another bowl loss, man. That's that's two in a row, man. We're only two in bowl games, but it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, man, last year was a good year, man. We ended the year 12 and two. I can't complain. Southern Mississippi, they played Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois, who we just recently lost to in a bowl game, but Northern Illinois scraped Southern Mississippi, 51 to 10. So we got Tulsa and Akron. Tulsa is another um, Conference USA team. They lost. So, so far, what I can see, man, Conference USA has not won a bowl game this year. Texas played in the Holiday Bowl at ranked 11. Ooh. But they won 42-17. This year's bowl game, man, has a bunch of weird matchups, you know? It's been a lot of blowouts. But I'm looking for some more Conference USA team. I think I'm looking for one more team. It might be us, the last team. So, well, yeah, right there, 55-47. Game we should have won. Okay, UCF. UCF lost to Colorado in the Houston Bowl, 34 to 3. So Conference USA went 0 4 for the bowl games. Crazy. Super crazy. But now we're at the BCS bowl games, man. The top 25s. Solid team. So it's nothing, nothing too crazy. Missouri's a new team up there. Missouri at 10 and Miami scraped LSU 38 to 7. LSU's another team that's gonna be on our list um next year. So let's go to the school budget. I'm gonna do a little bit uh different this year than I did last year. Um Last year, I did the 43, 42, then 15 with the discipline. So I'm, I'm going to spice it up a little bit. Um, so what do I want to take down first? I'm going to take down the training, and then the recruiting, and give a little bit to the discipline, man. I'm tired of players getting suspended. So I think 35, 35, 30 is decent, you know. Um, I don't think that will affect our recruit too much. But yeah, man, I can't be having players getting suspended, man. That, I'm tired of that. We're going to move on to the players that are uh, leaving, a bunch of seniors, but some are bad overall some are decent but without them man we would not be where we're at today so kudos to them i wish them nothing but success moving forward leroy williams is gone at 62 overall you would have thought he was way higher than that nate nesmith at 84 overall atari rogers is gone he had a hell of a year hell of a career uh leroy williams hell of a career nate nesmith um atari rogers is gone but we have corey jones and i think corey jones is better than him y'all we're gonna have to see but corey jones he the real deal man but now we're going off to recruiting, man. So I got to find out what we need. So I've always said, man, I'm going to beef up that O-line, man. I need some tackles. I need some guards. And I need a backup center. Um, I think I have two centers that are red shirted, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to just go crazy real quick. Put a bunch of points out there. Um, a lot of pitches out there. Just to see what we'll get back after week one. But I realized with this game, man, the first two to three weeks, man, nobody's gonna uh commit to the school you know it's gonna take the to week four to week five and the last week of recruiting man everybody want to take their visits make sure they're going to the right school but man if you live in texas bro there's no reason not to come to tsu we're on fire so we need a dn because nate nesmith is gone we need a center and we need a middle linebacker because um, leroy williams is gone but i might move um miles edwards to middle linebacker but he's fine on outside linebacker man i'll just keep him as a rover so I'm going to fast forward to week three. The first two weeks, man, we got nobody. Literally nobody, man. So week three, we have no recruits. Hopefully when I changed to the discipline up and I took down the recruiting, that didn't, that didn't hurt us. So yeah, man, let me just go through all this real quick. So this is who we got, man. The red is who we recruit, man. We got center, a tackle, center, and a middle linebacker. But we still got scholarships to throw out there. So we got two more left. So I'm going to throw one to Dominique James. He's a tackle. Um... We're going to give him four points. I'm going to tell him the location because why wouldn't he want to come to use man? Um, the last one, I'm going to do Matt Armstrong. So that's all our scholarships. So I'm going to fast forward to next week just to see uh, who's left, see if the players that we were recruiting signed somewhere else so we have more scholarships to give out. So boom, hopefully we can bring somebody in. So boom, thank you. We got a tackle and a center. Big bodies, man. He's 6'8". Justin Young and Paul Kennedy, appreciate y'all, man. Welcome to Texas Southern. We are on something special. So this is week four out of five. So just look at all the players we have still targeted that are still ready to sign somewhere. Um, we got Mark Scott too, if you guys forgot. Mark Scott, we signed him during the year. So we really don't need another middle linebacker. What do we do? We need somebody to back him up for sure. So let's try to bring this dude in, um, Jeff Wright. Let's send the house with him. Hopefully we can bring him in since we send the house. Just in case we don't get him, I might target one more. But like I said, I need a corner. Jeremy Cantrell, even though you're two-star Juco, we got we got a spot for you, bro, because we still got Todd Foster and Jason Matt, but we need four corners. We need four corners over 75 overall, so boom. Come on, Cantrell. Come on. So let me see. You for sure need a kicker, a real kicker. So let's send the house with him. 
we got one more scholarship left. I'm debating who to give it to, man. What position? So let's say location with him. Where you got a punter up there? So this is everybody, man. Maybe an athlete. What about an athlete? Well, he goes a 4 4 6. I'm good. I already got a quarterback out there. 4 2. Come on. I'll give him a scholarship. Come on. Bro, run a 4 2. So that's everybody, man. So let's go to the last week. Let's, let's simulate the week five. Hopefully this week is a good week, man. We can bring some players in. I need at least four players. Come on. Come to TSU, man. We working with something. So we got a D-tackle. Tyler Miller. 5'11". He's short as hell for D-tackle. But I mean, uh, Aaron, Aaron Donald, 5'11". He's good. Damn. So last week, hopefully we come through with the last week. So what I'm doing right now, we got two scholarships for men. But right now, maybe I kind of lowball certain players and just like sent, the, sent some players phone call. Maybe I had a... Make an at-home visit. Or maybe I made an at-home visit when I should have sent the house. So I'm just polishing up and hopefully this last week can be really good. Because right now, it's not that great. I think we only got like four players, bro. So let's advance to the next week. Let's see. Oh, wait, let's get it. Come on now. Come on. That's that's recruiting right there, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. That's recruiting right there. Stop playing with us. And we got a DN. Got bodies. Let's go. Hey, this that year. <laughs> This that year. Come on. I mean, so I'm finna play the season right now. Come on. Let's go. So they going to position changes. I mean, ain't too many players I want to change positions at. You feel know I me? Mean? Uh well, let's take a look around. Um, maybe I can put Newton at receiver. Possibly. Nah. He's 59 over. Let's keep him at tight end. Let's keep him at tight end. Let's go. We got some bodies now. We got something to work with. So one of them right tackles, I'm gonna move to probably let me see how many guards we got first, but. Some of these tackles, bro, they finna go to guard if we ain't got enough guards. Whoever got more speed. So, boom, P. Kennedy. I'm gonna move him to right guard. He's a 74 overall, so he's already a starter at right guard. See, our guards are a little iffy. So, let's see if I can bring one more uh, tackle to guard. Dan Cobb, go play guard, bro. Boom. After Cobb, I'm gonna move one more person over to guard. That's probably gonna be Moderick. You go to right guard, too. Let's go. We good. So now it looking a little more, you know, it looking more, look, look a little more polished. Excuse me. Centers, A. Hey. So one of them finna, I'm finna red shirt young. He finna be red shirted. So yes, sir. That old line's A1. And we have a solid running back, bro. Shout out Jay Stone. He a freshman, man. Let's get it. Rudy Utley still there. He a junior. We good. Morales, Couch, um, Miles Edwards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First team all USA. Billy Hughes still there. Um, we got uh, the freshman Scott, man. We ain't got no linebackers, middle linebackers. So I'm gonna move him, Lawrence, to middle linebacker. We do not have a backup middle linebacker. Damn, 44 overall. Um, yeah, you just go to middle linebacker. So, you know, Mark Scott just don't get hurt, bro. You feel me? But the corners, I like it. I said I want everybody over 75 overall, but 70 is cool. 70 is cool. Shout out Contrell. I didn't think Contrell was going to come over at a 74 overall, but he did go to Juco, so he got college experience already. So, bingo. Let's go. We need to get a free safety next year because that looking a little scary over there. But maybe I can move, move one of them to free safety. I don't know. Maybe. Jesse Thompson. We finally got a kicker, y'all. So, we can kick some field goals. Kick some field goals. We don't have no punter, though. What the hell? So, I'm going to move him to punter. Joseph Davis. He finna be the punter. Go play punter, bro. All right. That's cool. We ain't got no athletes. So this is the roster right here, y'all. That is the roster. I'm going to move over to the spring game. Um, Once again, if y'all don't know with the spring game, none of the freshmen are here yet, the new recruits. The reason being is because they're still in high school and they're still in school. Their school's not over yet. It's the spring. So the players that are playing right now are pretty much just the returners. That's it. Returners. So you might see some players still playing both sides of the ball, but... Going into the next year, man, nobody's playing both sides of the ball, man. Nobody. Um, watch my boy Adam Beard over there drop it off the Trey Little. See, you can see right there we don't have a running back because all the running backs are freshmen right now. Um, Trey Little, he's our corner. We run the option with Gerald Craig. Um, I still going to have Gerald Craig at a receiver. Gerald Craig going to stay at receiver. He ain't going to play no corner. Strictly receiver, man. He had a hell of a year last year. You know how I'm really excited about, man. We got Demarcus Roach. That man at 99 speed, man. He runs a 4-1-6. Boy got them wheels. But as we see Adam Beer right now, you know, Adam Beer getting that work in, man. I hope everybody progresses from this spring game, man. 
I don't really care who wins because the spring game is ain't our full team. You feel me? I really wish we had the freshmen here, or when the freshmen got here, we can actually play with them. You know, I can always go to like the practice mode, but I can't get the freshmen to get better. You feel me? I can't make them get better because you know what I'm saying. They in high school. They doing what they doing over there. You know what I'm saying? But when they come to TSU, they finna get right. But hey, y'all, man, it's BCS bowl or bus. BCS bowl. If we don't go to a BCS bowl game, fire me. I gotta get fired if we don't make it to a BCS bowl game because this team is too good, bro. And I'm I, I, my front runner for the Heisman is Marquise Nichols. I think he can get it. And he's got to stop throwing interceptions, you know. But one thing I realized with the Texas Southern team, man. To start the year off, we always struggle. We always struggle. It takes us like week four or week five to actually click on all cylinders, all aspects of football, offense and defense. And I told y'all, man, I got to fix the special teams. I'm going to fix the special teams, bro. I'd be damned if we lose games because of special teams, you feel me? I'm going to put all the athletes on special teams. So I guess you are playing both sides of the ball then at that point. But ain't nobody going to play offense and defense. But somebody on offense going to play special teams. Somebody on defense going to play special teams. So yeah, man. It's third and two right now. But the white team and Adam Beard, they low key running the maroon team right now. You feel me? It don't mean nothing. I just hope everybody gets gets better off of this. That's it, man. I don't care who wins, you feel me? But um hope the training results is good. Cause like I said at the beginning of the year, um I took the ratings down, you know. It was at 45 with the training. I think I dropped it to 35 just to help the discipline out. Cause like I said, I was tired of players getting suspended. So, you know, hopefully people are still getting better from the program. That's a safety, bruh. White team's finna win this one, y'all. This year's finna be special, though. I'm gonna put uh, Northern Illinois on the roster. Uh, Texas Tech is finna be there, because they both beat us. Um, Texas is there, because they take all of our recruits. And I just want to, I want some payback for the recruits not taking TSU serious at first and then deciding to go to the University of Texas, not Texas Southern. But now look at us, you feel me? We might be better than Texas this year. We'll see. That's why we're gonna play them. And then I'm gonna play LSU towards the end, so. You know, we had a pretty good, solid schedule. Um, hopefully, we don't lose to nobody in Conference USA. Hopefully, we just run the table with Conference USA. But you never know with this game, man. You don't know with this team. This team is so streaky. But I think this is the year, you know. Um, I think playing these teams at the beginning of the year, the Northern Illinois, the Texases, and the Texas Techs, it's going to wake us up. We ain't got time to wake up. You feel me? First couple of games is going to be hard. So, they're going to have to wake up, man. If they don't wake up, it's going to be a long, long year. And we don't make a BCS bowl game, fire me. <laughs> this is it, fire me. Daniel Garrison has got clothesline and the white team finna win. That's game. That's game. But that was still a good um, that was still a good spring game. I love seeing them get after it, you feel me? But the great team won 37 to 35. But let's go to the training result. Let's see who got better. Miles Edwards got six overall better. Brown got six. That's big time, Miles Edwards. Way to way to stay the course, man. Way to not to be complacent. Tommy Kravitz went up four. Hey, y'all, Chris Mitchell went up four. Mikhail Koch, Jason Mack. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, Todd Foster. Marquise Nichols. Hey, this was a good offseason, baby. Uh-huh. Good offseason, Bobby. Let's get after it. Let's go. Let's go. A lot of these fools down here are not even going to play. Demarcus Roach got better. Let's go. 99 speed. Y'all see that speed over there. Trey Little got better. Gerald Craig. New end. Daniel Garrison, Corey Jones. Corey Jones, he, he big time, y'all. I might be gassing him. But I got to make an offense and a defensive MVP and a captain. The defensive MVP is going to go to Miles Edwards. It used to be Tommy Crabbe, but Tommy Crabbe got to spin it, I think, three or four times since I've had TSU. So he lost his job. I know he not mad. I know he understands. I know he's disappointed. But you know, man, prove us wrong. The offense MVP is going to go to uh, Marquise Nichols because he the train that drives us. Like, without him, we ain't going nowhere. I gotta cut some players now. Um, Brett Thompson, I swear Brett Thompson has been here for eternity, bro. I don't know why he's still here. Winston's getting cut. Anybody below in the fit, anybody under 60, I'm trying to cut, you know, unless I just gotta keep some roster space. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go through cut these players real quick. Let's knock them out. I already see a few players that I'm finna red shirt, man. We got a lot of guards, man. We got a lot of guards. So I'm gonna try to cut some and then I'm gonna red shirt some. But so far, so good. We're looking good. Can I cut him? Nope. Can I cut him? Okay. I guess I need four on the roster. Nah, we're going to keep that. Corner's looking solid, y'all. They're not too good, but they're not bad at all. They can stay in front of somebody. So, hell yeah. Let's get it. That's the roster right there. So, we're going to set this depth chart right here. Okay. Corey Jones, he's an impact player. I didn't think he was going to be an impact player off the rip, but he is. So, Chris Mitchell, 
he's gonna stay at the number two receiver. Really, he's the one because I remember a few years ago when I was recruiting him, he signed, he said he gonna bring Texas Southern to a national stage, and that's what he did. That's exactly what he did, man. You gotta love players like that with a lot of confidence, you feel me? In, in the manner they were, man. He did what he said he's gonna do, man. Without him, we would not be here also. So, with the tight end, um, Robert Newton, he's gonna be the backup, but I might start him, you know? I don't know, it gets a little tricky. Reason being, because Brewer can block, and um, I, I really want to run the ball a little bit more this year, but Newton's a little bit more faster, but Brewer can catch a little bit better. But Robert Newton had a hell of a year. He was like top five tight ends last year. So, you know, I don't want nobody, you know, minutes just to go down tremendously, but I want everybody to get some love, man. We got enough room for everybody. Everybody can get some, you feel me? So I might play a two tight end set at times. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, this is the defense. The defense, bro, takedown game, it, it's official. It's official. It's official. Miles Edwards got the um, impact player role. He took that from Tommy. Unless Tommy's still an impact player, he might be. Nope, they took it from him. You know, I mean, Miles Edwards went from 80 overall to 86. You feel me? But Tommy Craven's still the best free safety in the nation by far. So I'm going to back up Tommy Craven's with uh, Mason. Strong safety, kicker. Hey, we, we're good. We're good. Am I missing anything? Kick return, Demarcus Rhodes, Corey Jones. Nah. We'll put Williamson. Williamson in the uh, Marcus Rose. Yes, sir. Come on. That's what we finna do right there. We got 95 and 99 speed players returning kicks. It's looking good. I'm gonna fix the special teams and we finna be right. So I'm gonna jump into uh, the red shirt. So I find out who I'm gonna red shirt real quick and then I'm gonna hop into the schedule. Who do I want a red shirt though? Let me check. Wow, 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 wow. None of them receivers are getting red shirt. Newton's not getting red shirted. Okay, Tyrell Higgins, he's going to get red shirted. 6'9", 337. Boy, that boy big, ain't Can I red shirt Cobb? Well, no, I need two left guards. I don't want to. Mm, I might. I might red shirt him. I might. I might go back and red shirt him. But Justin Young for sure getting red shirted. Stevenson's getting red shirted. Uh, Miller. Go ahead and red shirt him. Jason Parks. Nah, I can't redshirt him. We need him. None of the corners are getting redshirted. Five young corners over 70 overall. I love it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Nobody on defense, the, the secondary in the defense is getting redshirted. So that's what we got right there, man. I'm finna go to this schedule. Like I told y'all from the jump, y'all know who we starting off with. It's finna be a whole domino effect. We got Northern Illinois. We got Texas Tech. And we're going to go to at five Texas. That's what we're going to do. But we're going to make LSU come to Houston, all right? Um, but we're not going to go to Northern Illinois or Texas Tech. Let's make them come to Houston, you feel me? I think we earned enough to make teams come to us, you feel me? Our budget cool, you feel me? So, boom, that's the schedule right there, man. B minus. Come on, we got two teams in the top five. How's that B minus? That's an A. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's get it. I'm ready to play right now. I ain't going to lie to you. Come on. We got the Conference USA. We got UCF and Marshall in there. Hopefully, we just don't lose to none of them. You know, maybe I might be on my high horse. Maybe we got to calm down a little bit with this uh, with this season, you feel me? But I'm finna get up out of here, y'all, man. Y'all hit the like, hit the subscribe button, write a comment, man. I'll see y'all next week against Northern Illinois. Let's go take down game. Let's go TSU family. I'm gone. I'm out of here.